Hey guys, welcome back to my video. Today I am doing <clears throat> the last and final part, part three of my 32 questions about me, Liz. And, um, I'm also, sorry, I'm also, um, showing you guys, yesterday I got my braces tightened and, um, I got red on the left side. And blue on the right side. So, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. So you get notified when I post a new video. New videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Okay. Back to my regular content. The funniest, most embarrassing thing I have ever done is when I was in Michigan with my parents when I was three. One of my family members on my mother's side was getting married. And then, um... Uh, we were in the hotel room, and the three of us were in our hotel room in Michigan, and I stood up on the toilet because I was, I had already, I had already washed my hands, and then, um, I was trying to get a hand towel, but I used a face towel, and the other towels fell into the toilet, and they clogged the toilet, and my dad came, and he's like, what did you do? I, I didn't know at the time, because I was little, and then, um... He had to call the front desk to come and unclog our toilet and give us new towels. So that's the funniest, most embarrassing thing. The best part about being a pediatric patient is the all the care you get and how nice um, the doctor is and how much they care about you and really want to help you with any problems you might have or medical problems or conditions. That's the best part. The best part about my pediatric doctor's office is after I hop up onto the exam table, like when I'm sitting on the exam table and the nurse takes my vitals before I have to change into a gown, she asked me about how's my summer going, what grade will I be in, like what's my favorite subject, stuff like that. What have I done so far this, in the summer? That's the best part. If I could change one thing about my childhood, it would probably be um, the fact that I have a learning issue. Oh, yeah. The fact that I have a learning issue, like I wish I didn't have learning issues, and that's one thing I wish I could change. What is the worst part about fire drills? This is an interesting question. The worst part about fire drills is before everybody, like, is outside. Because when you when you're evacuating, it's like the first, it's like the beginning of the fire drill, and you know that the fire alarm won't stop ringing for like at least five or ten minutes. So, um, unless it's a real fire, obviously, but you don't have to worry about that. That's why we practice. But the worst part about fire drills is before everybody evacuates, like while everybody's evacuating, you hear everybody running down the stairs and screaming and the alert, loud alarm sound and the bright flashing light gives me anxiety. Yeah, that's the worst part. How tall are you after scoliosis surgery? I was five feet two and a half inches because um, I grew taller after the surgery. So it gave me two and a half inches. So I was five feet two and a half inches after I woke up, but I was 4'11 before they put me to sleep. So, yes. How many flights of, st How many flights of stairs have you fallen down? I have fallen down four flights of stairs. Tumbled. Wait, no. Three-fourths of them, I 75% of the staircases I've fallen down, I've tumbled. There was one flight of stairs in November before, around Thanksgiving time at school, for school break, before Thanksgiving school break that I slid down the stairs. But the other three times I tumbled down the stairs. So yes, I have fallen down four flights of stairs. Have you ever slipped and fallen on ice? Yes, I have slipped and fallen on ice. Have you ever slipped on black ice? 
Yes, I have slipped on black ice, but I have not fallen on black ice. The reason why they call it black ice is because it looks like a part of the pavement. It because it blends in, you can't see it. That's why they call it black ice. So when you go to walk on it, you slip and you're like, oh, there's black ice. But you don't know it's black ice until you walk on it because you can't see it. So that's why they call it black ice. Who's your best friend? Who's your best friend in school? Annika is my best friend in school. What is the best thing about high school? The best thing about high school is the um the teachers, history, and at my school because it's a language based school for people with language based learning issues, you can call the teachers by their first names. If you could change one thing about high school, what would it be? If you could change one thing about school, what would it be? Sorry for that. But because I am high, in high school, that's why I just said that. If I could change one thing about school, it would be the fact that we have to do lockdown and fire drills. What is your dream job? My dream job is a certified nursing assistant. What are you proud of yourself for? I am proud of myself for everything I've accomplished in my freshman year of high school. Is there anything that makes me super happy? Um, yes. When I hear uh, my cousins are coming up here and I'm gonna get to see them, seeing my grandparents, um, going to the pedi going to my pediatrician, going to work, going to school, going to historical sites, maybe going on a special vacation. Um, getting to see a movie that I've never seen before. Stuff like that. Oh, and getting to hang out with some, getting to hang out with friends sometimes. Yeah. What is your dream house? My dream house is somewhere down in the southern states, like Virginia or Florida. Like, not like a super big house, but a super small house. I'm like looking for like a medium sized house with like um, a big bedroom, a bathroom in the bedroom. Um, a lot of guest rooms are like rooms if I have like children where they can sleep, um, a basement, Lots of hangout rooms. Maybe a room for me for like my personality room, like maybe a lounge room or something. Yeah. Do you have a dream pet? Um, yes. I have always wanted a hamster, like a teddy bear hamster. Like two teddy bear hamsters. Because I think they're so cute. That's my dream pet. What is your favorite show that is not history related? I like a lot of shows, but my very favorite show that's not history related is a Disney Channel show called Raven's Home with Raven Simone, who plays Raven. Baxter in the um on the show. That's my favorite show. Why do fire drills make you anxious and scared? Fire drills make me anxious and scared because of the loud noise and the bright flashing light. What is your favorite phrase? My favorite phrase is a phrase that they say sometimes on YouTube but mostly on TikTok. I like you cut, G. That's my favorite phrase. When you were a toddler, what made you laugh at school? When I was a toddler, what made me laugh at school was when in the toddler room, like in the toddler classroom, we were being very good kids. The teacher would like go to CVS and buy us shaving cream so we could put our hands in it. And I would put it all over my friends' faces and make like beards out of it. And I would laugh at it. So, yeah. When you were a toddler, what made you laugh? Um, when I would watch Sesame Street with my mother after school or on the weekends or something. And they showed the... Um, they showed the episode of Alex Stevens, the baker, and he would teach kids how to count after every bakery item, he would fall down the stairs. What happens every day in your home state? Um, car accidents on the side of the highway. Um, and I always hear or see fire, 
trucks, ambulances, police. Yeah. When you were a little kid, what made you laugh? When I was a little kid, what made me laugh was like when I was five and six year, five, six, and seven years old. Um, so kindergarten, first grade, and second grade. When we, I don't watch the news anymore because it gives me anxiety. But when my dad used to turn on the news every day after he pick, would pick me up from like first grade and second grade, um, I we would always hear about these car crashes, and I used to laugh about car accidents. AKA crash, and I used to find them funny because of the way they happened. And I thought the crash noise was funny, but I realize now that you can get hurt or even get hospitalized or even die if it's serious enough. So, yeah, so I used to find car accidents funny. What is your reaction after you fall down a flight of stairs? That's interesting. Well, it's not funny when somebody falls down a flight of stairs. Well, if it's me, it's funny because I know I'm okay. But somebody else, it's not funny. So, um, I start laughing. Do you find it funny when somebody falls down a flight of stairs? Um, no, I do not find it funny when pe somebody falls down a flight of stairs. Because it's scary. It's, well... Most of the time, so they're, like, it's rare when you fall down the stairs that you're sliding down on your rear end. Most of, 90% of the time when people fall down the stairs, they're tumbling down the stairs. So, no, because you don't, no, it's, I find it scary because you don't know when you're going to stop tumbling until you get to the bottom. And you wonder when you're going to get to the bottom because you just keep tumbling and tumbling and tumbling. So, no, I do not find it funny when people fall down the stairs. And also, a reason why I don't find it funny when people fall down the stairs is because I used to laugh at that when I was 9, 10, 11, and 12, and a little bit in 13. But once I was 14, I stopped finding that funny. Um, it, the reason why I also don't find it funny is because um, you can get hurt, you can get hospitalized, or if it's, like, really severely bad, you can die. You can die from your injuries from falling down the flight of stairs. I mean, I know it's hard to believe, but it can happen. I mean, 12, 000, according to Google, 12,000 people a year die from falling down, from stair-related injuries, which means falling down the stairs. So, no, I do not find it funny when people fall down the flight of stairs. Have you ever been in a car accident? Um, yes, I've been in two fender benders, which are, like, I, which means, like, my, both of my parents have rear-ended people, but I've never gotten in, like, a severe car accident. But, yes, I have been in a car Two car accidents. No, uh, minor car accidents. Have you ever been stuck in an elevator? No, I have never been stuck in an elevator, thank goodness. I've come close to it, but I have never gotten stuck in an elevator. Do you laugh when you are nervous? Yes, I laugh when I'm nervous. Have you ever laughed and you don't know why? Um, yes. Find jokes funny? Um, yes. Well, the funny ones, yes, but there are some dumb ones, so no. Or the ones I don't get, no. Have you ever fallen up a flight of stairs? Yes, I have. I have run. I have ran up the stairs, and I have lost my balance, and I fall, and then the stair makes the stairs make a big boom noise. So yes, I have.